Well, worship leaders, what does your posture communicate? What does your body language communicate? That's something I want you to uh, begin asking yourself and go back and look at some videos of you leading worship and see what your posture is communicating. I was in a worship service recently where the worship leader was singing the song. She had a beautiful voice and she seemed like a pretty experienced worship leader, but the entire time she sang, she had her arms crossed. And see, she's singing this mic with her arms crossed. And it just looked like she was bored. And I, it looks like she was probably a pretty experienced worship leader. She was probably really comfortable on stage, but maybe even a little too comfortable because she was just doing this. And this doesn't lead people very well. It doesn't communicate that you're interested in what you're doing, that you're interested in worship, that you're interested in God. So what does your posture communicate? Go back and watch the video from last week. See what you did and what it communicated.